Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Marvel. Open the box to become stronger. Chapter 21. By the way, you are still skeptical about what I said, why don't you try this toy doll? Hearing this, Captain America nodded and said in a deep voice, I also want to see what tricks you can come up with. Fancy. Lu Chen raised his eyebrows, helpless. Talking to smart people is a troublesome thing. And for someone like Captain America who has a strong sense of justice and is very smart, it is even more helpless. After all, the impression Lu Chen gives people now is not very good. Thinking of this, Lu Chen shook his head imperceptibly, thinking to himself. If there is a chance, I will try to make some toys that can increase affinity. However, Lu Chen was not sure if there was such a weird thing. If not, forget it. If there was, it would be of great help to Lu Chen's sales. At this time, Captain America, who had been fiddling with the toy doll for a long time, suddenly asked awkwardly, how do I summon this? Well, you've been fiddling with it, I thought you could do it. Lu Chen's mouth twitched slightly, and he didn't hide it, throw it into the sky. So simple. After a long pause, Captain America was speechless. What do you think? This is a life-saving gadget. If there are so many operations, what can it save? After listening to Lu Chen's voice, Captain America decisively chose to remain silent. It must be said that Lu Chen was one of the few people he was not comfortable with. Shaking his head, Captain America looked at the toy doll in his hand and threw it into the sky. He wanted to see if this doll was really as the mysterious young man said. After just a moment, Captain America was surprised to find that the doll he threw out disappeared. Yes, disappeared, as if it had never existed. Is it really a trick? Captain America's heart sank, and the thoughts that had faded away before came back again. As a member of the Avengers, his time is undoubtedly precious. Now, the whole country is in chaos because the population has been halved. And the heroes are seriously short of manpower. It is a manifestation of his patience to chat with a young man like this until now. If it were another Avenger, such as the newly joined Nebula, he would definitely take her back directly. My tolerance has reached its limit. Now, in the name of the Avengers, I ask you to cooperate with the investigation. Captain America said coldly, slowly lifting his cap and revealing a face that was enough to shock countless people. Lu Chen, who already knew the identity of Steve, was not surprised, and he would not pretend to be surprised. There was no need, and he did not want to. Besides, that person should show up soon. Thinking of this, Lu Chen's mouth corners slightly raised, revealing a weird look. Hum, looking at Lu Chen, who looked calm and showed no emotion even when he heard the words, Avengers, Captain America's expression changed slightly, revealing a solemn look. In this world, people who can remain unmoved by hearing the words, Avengers, are either ignorant and fearless, or, they are fearless. Thinking of this, Captain America's fists were slowly clenched. Okay, young man. A voice suddenly came from his ear, and Captain America's face suddenly changed. At the same time, Captain America felt his shoulders sink slightly. Without thinking, Captain America, who had been on guard, had already kicked out with a whip kick. Boom, was like the air exploded, and the strong wind lifted Captain America's windbreaker. However, in a moment, in Captain America's stunned eyes, his whip kick, which was always as powerful as a bamboo, suddenly stopped. Looking up, a burly man with two tufts of golden bangs on his head that were always flying upwards had appeared behind him at some point. The burly man had one hand on Captain America's shoulder and the other hand firmly grasped Captain America's right leg. With a grin on his mouth, revealing a very contagious smile, the sudden burly man suddenly said, Hello, young man, I'm All Might, a hero who can only protect you for three minutes a day. Quote comma comma quote. Silence, deathly silence. Looking at this strong man dressed in the uniform of this country's impression color, red, white, blue dressed like a hero, especially seeing the confident smile on his mouth, Captain America was silent. Being told by a big man that, I can only protect you for three minutes a day, has already made Captain America speechless. But more importantly, it is strength, unfathomable strength. With just one hand, he can steadily catch his whip kick that is enough to burst the air, and with an unknown superb skill, he quietly resolved the aftermath. This kind of strength, this kind of means, is enough to make Captain America silent. 
Having lived for so long and seen so much, at least he still has the ability to see. And now, looking at the strong man in front of him with a smile on his face, I have to say that Captain America is really shocked. This is a real strong man who is scary and respectable. At this time, the strong man who suddenly appeared in the store seemed to have noticed something, and suddenly laughed and apologized, I'm abrupt. As he said that, the strong man slowly let go of Captain America's right leg. However, even though it was an apology, the warmth and the laughter also made Captain America slightly stunned. Shaking his head, Captain America immediately responded, I overreacted. Ha ha ha, you're still young, this is normal. Patting Captain America on the shoulder, the sturdy man sighed sincerely. It must be said that in terms of appearance alone, Captain America's face in his twenties is much younger than All Might. But, why does Lu Chen always feel something is wrong? Staring blankly at Captain America and All Might who were chatting and laughing, Lu Chen's face became more and more strange. Until a certain moment, a flash of inspiration suddenly came to his mind, and his eyes widened subconsciously. This, this, this All Might, seems to be a real person. The real All Might, not the puppet in Lu Chen's imagination. But, how is this possible? All Might is the symbol of the world's peaceful era in My Hero Academia, how could he respond to the call of a toy doll and come to this world? At this moment, as if he had sensed Lu Chen's presence, the blonde burly man, All Might, suddenly raised his hand, smiled and greeted him, Manager, hello. Okay. Lu Chen responded politely with a slightly stiff face. But before he could speak again, All Might patted Captain America on the shoulder and said earnestly, Young man, don't attack the store manager. He is just a businessman. All Might narrowed his eyes slightly and said in a deep voice, although his existence is an unstable factor. Unstable factor. After taking a deep look at Lu Chen, Captain America nodded in agreement. A jar can create a superhuman being. A doll can summon such a strong person. This method is indeed an unstable factor. If it is to help others, it is fine. But if it is like creating a superhuman being like the ice girl, who is decisive in killing, it is a headache. At this time, through the communication with the powerful man from another world, All Might, Captain America also confirmed what Lu Chen said before. But now, the only thing worth pondering is that the things that came out of the jar seem to be more than just magical items. Thinking of this, Captain America turned around and sincerely apologized to Lu Chen, I'm sorry, manager, I was impulsive before. Well, his face froze slightly, and Lu Chen was a little speechless. How could this guy change so quickly? He had a cold demeanor before, and wanted to, invite, him back to cooperate with the investigation. Now, his attitude suddenly changed, and he looked very sincere. But at this time, Lu Chen didn't know that Captain America and All Might had more than just a simple language exchange. As a person from another world, All Might had a mysterious connection with Captain America who summoned him. After Captain America calmed down, he felt that All Might was like the sun in the other world, shining brightly, and had a strong sense of justice like him. He already understood All Might's character. At the same time, he also understood the horror of this, Devil's Shop. Being able to easily summon a being like All Might is terrifying enough. And such a mysterious shop must not be an enemy. If it is really an enemy, it would be a huge trouble. Moreover, at this time, he also had to rush back to the meeting to discuss some opinions about this shop with the Avengers and even the corresponding deployment. Therefore, before these are implemented, the attitude must be correct. In this way, Captain America, who has always been able to take things easy, naturally promised to be sincere. No problem. Waving his hands, Lu Chen reluctantly accepted Captain America's apology. How could he not be reluctant? He was still thinking about this customer and bringing his companions to Taobao more often. Customers are God. Unless it is necessary, Lu Chen doesn't mind taking care of their emotions. After all, his customers are destined to be boiled frogs in warm water. The longer the time, the more benefits Lu Chen will get. And this is naturally because greed will always be accompanied by the increase of strength, and heroes are no exception. Thinking of this, Lu Chen also grabbed the last treasure. One, two, three, a full five green broad beans. Broad beans, no, they should be called fairy beans. It is the name of a magical food in the world of, Dragon Ball. 
It is cultivated by the Karen Immortal, Cat Immortal, who lives in Karen Tower. Just eating one can make people recover from injuries quickly, and at the same time restore physical strength in extreme fatigue, and adjust the body to the best condition again. And this should be regarded as another good treasure obtained by Captain America, even Lu Chen was jealous when he saw it. Cultivation and life saving, a good thing that is difficult to buy with any amount of money. This is a magical food. One bean can keep a person from being hungry for 10 days and can also quickly restore injuries and physical strength. It was rare that Captain America listened to Lu Chen's introduction seriously this time. When Lu Chen was halfway through, this legendary figure who never showed his emotions flashed a fiery look in his eyes. As a soldier, he only heard half of it and understood the value of the Senzu bean. One Senzu bean, one life is no joke. At this moment, Captain America and Lu Chen did not notice that All Might, who was standing next to him, was also stunned when he heard the effect of the Senzu bean. After a moment, he shook his head imperceptibly. As a summoned being, it is a blessing to be summoned. In this world, although it is only three minutes, he can burst out his true strength and show his former glory. And more importantly, after coming to this world, apart from other things, his severely injured body in the present world has been relieved. With two points, he is already content. People should not be greedy. All Might, who deeply understands this truth, naturally does not dare to ask for too much. At this moment, All Might looked at the time and grinned, saying, it's almost time. I'll be leaving now. Without waiting for Captain America and Lu Chen to respond, All Might turned around and walked towards the depths of darkness. Step, step, step. With heavy footsteps, All Might's figure gradually blurred until he disappeared. Only one exhortation echoed in the air, young man, when you need me, call me, but remember, there are only three minutes. Okay, All Might. Looking deeply at the direction where All Might disappeared, Captain America nodded heavily. This is a man worthy of his admiration, who has fought for the so-called peace all his life. If, he could have been there. Thinking of this, Captain America's face was full of bitterness. It has long passed, so why bother thinking about it? After all, as the captain of the United States, he was also absent in that battle. After staying in the store for a while, Captain America took the Senzu beans from Lu Chen and picked up a toy doll on the ground. Then he said to Lu Chen, thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Lu Chen waved his hand and said indifferently. Then, as if he remembered something, he hooked his right hand and said with a playful look, as long as the money is in place, it's fine. This is as it should be. Without further questioning, Captain America followed Lu Chen's words and added. Then, he took out a black bank card from his windbreaker. I have saved a little over the years, 100,000, not much. Tisk tisk. Lu Chen smiled and interrupted without hesitation. 100,000 is just a start. Next time, if you want to buy, it will be a million. Well, his face froze slightly, and Captain America decisively took back the card that had been swiped. 100,000 is not much, but 1 million is not a small amount. Moreover, Captain America also realized a serious problem. That ice girl took away all the deposits of Bill Company before she disappeared. Could she come here to buy jars again? Thinking of this, Captain America's scalp tingled. One jar created an extraordinary. Who knows if the second jar will create a more terrifying existence. With a slightly ugly face, Captain America was unwilling to stay any longer. He greeted Lu Chen again. He was holding a hammer in one hand and a doll in the other, and the magic beans were carefully put into the interlayer of his clothes. The slow movement made Lu Chen feel distressed. How long has it been since this man showed such a cautious expression? However, Lu Chen's weird expression did not affect him. He slowly put it away, and after confirming that it was safe again and again, Captain America took a big step and walked back the way he came. Looking at Captain America's departing back, Lu Chen's mouth curled up slightly. It was a perfect deal. Not only did he get Captain America, but more importantly, it laid a good foundation for the subsequent sales. If possible, Lu Chen was unwilling to sell the jar to an ordinary person. After all, ordinary people are not worth harvesting. Only elites like the Avengers are worth Lu Chen's expectations. The only consideration is whether these guys can resist the temptation of the pottery jar. 
At this moment, there was a crisp sound, and a cold voice sounded in Lu Chen's ears. Congratulations, the host has actually sold the third jar, open the jar that belongs to the host. Really sold, the third, belongs to me. Amidst all the questions, Lu Chen was also confused. Ding, Thanos' first jar is a gift and is not counted. It is worth mentioning that the first jar originally belonged to you, but unfortunately the host could not sell it, so he could only. Before he could finish his words, a roar echoed throughout the store, System, you actually fooled me. Ding, this system only temporarily changes the permissions, and there is no such thing as deceiving the host. At this point, the cold electronic synthesized voice continued to add, Now, open the permission to exchange points for jars. Every 10 points can be exchanged for a jar. If you want to exchange for the next jar, the points will be 10 times. Listening to the voice of the system, Lu Chen's expression suddenly froze. 10 times, are you kidding? The same trick used by the guests was used on himself. At this time, as if aware of Lu Chen's thoughts, the system spoke again. Ding, do not do to others what you do not want others to do to you. Cough, cough, Lu Chen was caught off guard and was choked by this sentence. Using his words from his previous life to comfort the system is enough. Of course, Lu Chen just complained. After all, he must have earned the points to exchange for the jars. 10 points to open a jar, and then look at them all, the things that can be exchanged for points are hundreds or thousands at any time, such as the seeds of the sacred tree, which cost tens of thousands of points. This is also unique. Now, 10 points for the first jar, 100 points for the second jar, and 1000 points for the third jar. It. S. A. Bloody Prophet, no problem. As for the system's deception, he didn't pursue it. Under the circumstances at that time, it was undoubtedly the best choice. Thinking about it this way, the system is quite considerate of him. No, to be precise, the system should be serving him as the host first. It's just that compared with Lu Chen himself, the system's methods are more rigid, so that there is some conflict with Lu Chen's ideas. Shaking his head, Lu Chen didn't say anything more. At this moment, I believe there is nothing more important than opening a jar. Thinking of this, Lu Chen opened his right hand. Shua, a silver spider web shot towards the jar on the counter. After a moment, Lu Chen gently pulled, and a black ceramic jar shot towards Lu Chen. Crack, the crisp sound echoed in the store, and Lu Chen's eyes widened. As the saying goes, if it does not concern you, just ignore it. At this moment, Lu Chen had the same mentality. It was the first time for him to break the jar for himself. He was looking forward to the treasure that truly belonged to him. No matter what it was, such as the devil fruit in the world of pirates or the Zanpakuto in the world of death, he could accept it. Hey hey, thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't help but grin, revealing a knowing smile. However, after a moment, as if he had noticed something, Lu Chen's face froze slightly. Looking up, there were three golden lights where the jar was broken, constantly gathering, as if gestating something. Ah, why is it different from the usual can opening? Am I special? Lu Chen frowned and thought with some worry. Usually, when the can is smashed, three treasures will pop out at once. But now, three rays of light appeared, and the so-called treasure did not appear until now. Ding, the host is lucky and hit the lucky pottery jar. Hearing the sudden sound, Lu Chen raised his eyebrows and asked subconsciously, what is the lucky pottery jar? Ding, no one knows, no one knows, but the props that appear in this pottery jar are very mysterious. It's the same as saying nothing. Lu Chen complained slightly and was speechless. At this moment, with a boom, a golden light suddenly bloomed. At the same time, a ball of liquid red and green paint slowly appeared in the golden light. Lucky mask, it is said that it is the mask of a magical clown. It is a liquid red and green pigment in normal state. When it comes into contact with human skin, it will solidify into a hard mask. This is a magical mask with incredible magic. Anyone who wears it will give the user an inexplicable sense of funniness, and at the same time make people laugh. However, when the user wears it, no matter who it is, they will inevitably regard him as a clown. Yes, a clown, a clown who, sensationalizes, on the stage and only makes people laugh. However, this magical mask has a side effect that cannot be ignored, 
that is, contact with the mask for more than one day will affect the user's mind and stimulate his desire to perform. When it exceeds a certain threshold, it will turn the user into a crazy clown. Well, it's amazing. Silently absorbing the information about the mask, Lu Chen was confused. Isn't this the incarnation of the Joker in the 600th world? Lu Chen even suspected that if he had been in contact with this mask for a long time, he would become the next Joker. But this Joker is from the Marvel Universe. Of course, this cannot cover up its magic. No matter who wears it, people will regard him as a clown. This change of cognition in the sense of law is terrifying enough. In other words, even if Thanos, a standard purple potato head, wears this mask and stands in front of the Avengers, they will not recognize him. It is conceivable that this lucky mask is terrible. It is precisely because of this that Lu Chen did not stamp his feet in a hurry. Obviously, compared with the devil fruit and Zanpakuto he expected, this lucky mask is indeed interesting. No, it should be said that it is quite interesting. Slowly reaching out his hand, pouring into the golden light. In Lu Chen's stunned eyes, this ball of liquid red and green pigments seemed to have life and kept wriggling. In just a few breaths, it has turned into a mask in Lu Chen's hand. I think it would rather stay on my face. With a strange smile, Lu Chen slowly put the mask on his face. Quack quack, a sharp and piercing laugh actually sounded in Lu Chen's mind. At the same time, the red and green mask actually squirmed again, as if to better adapt to Lu Chen's face shape. Not long after, looking at the mirror in the store, Lu Chen was surprised to find that a strange figure had replaced his existence. This is a clown. He has blood red lips and very pale skin. The red and green colors on his face interweave to form a cold, gloomy and terrifying face. The corners of his mouth are slightly grinning, and Lu Chen even sees that the corners of his mouth are grinning to his ears. It is both scary and terrifying. However, what is surprising is that as the clown in the mirror adjusts his face, a sense of joy comes to his face, especially when this clown does some strange movements, he, himself can't help laughing out loud. Quack quack. The devilish and sharp horror laugh is so penetrating that it seems to tear the eardrums apart. After an unknown amount of time, Lu Chen slowly took off his mask, but he was in a trance. At one point when he transformed into a clown, he almost thought he was the clown. Gulu. Lu Chen swallowed his saliva and felt cold under his feet. It must be said that this mask is indeed a bit scary. Of course, it is undeniable that the power of this mask is also worth looking forward to. At this time, as if he had discovered something, Lu Chen's eyes condensed and his gaze turned to the attribute panel. He was surprised to find that his spiritual attribute had soared again and directly reached 142. This, in an instant, Lu Chen's eyes were focused on the red and green liquid not far away, and he was speechless for a long time. At this moment, another burst of golden light appeared. Looking up, a golden revolver slowly emerged from the golden light. Yes, a golden revolver. It had intricate patterns and dreamy colors. Lucky revolver, a specially designed pistol that can only hold one bullet at a time. When you pull the trigger, there is a certain chance that it will fire. His eyes narrowed slightly, and more detailed information was imprinted in Lu Chen's mind. This is a pistol favored by the goddess of luck. No matter who pulls the trigger, if the bullet does not fire, the power of the next loaded bullet will be doubled. If it is the first time, the power is equivalent to that of an ordinary bullet. Until the seventh maximum increase, the speed of the bullet is comparable to the speed of light, and its penetrating power can tear through all defenses. As a price, each time the increase is made, the reaction is also increased by one point. A revolver that is not reliable. Lu Chen twitched his lips, feeling a little helpless. Why, this thing popped up all over today. A lucky mask, a lucky revolver. Could it be that there is another lucky thing behind it? However, thinking this way, Lu Chen's hand has already grabbed the golden pistol in the golden light. Very cold. However, at the moment of holding the pistol, Lu Chen felt as if he was in perfect harmony with it. Indistinctly, he felt that this revolver had become an extension of his arm. He slowly raised his head, his eyes slightly focused, and looked along the smooth body of the gun, until he saw the beverage bottle on the counter 10 meters away. Bang, there was no beverage bottle exploding in the air as expected. There was only a wisp of green smoke slowly coming out of the muzzle. Empty gun, 
In the somewhat awkward voice, Lu Chen was surprised to find that there was a blood-red lightning-like pattern on the golden revolver's gunshot, as if it was telling something silently. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the mark of amplification. Lu Chen smiled and was a little speechless. This pistol is not suitable for ordinary people to use. However, occasionally, it can be used as a last-ditch killer. However, this is not the time to focus on this. Looking up, the third item was also quietly conceived. One-time training card, from, the strongest disciple in history, Kenichi, can allow the user to go to a mysterious space, seek knowledge from many martial arts masters, and hone supernatural skills. Staring at this card that looked like an invitation, Lu Chen smiled sincerely for the first time. It must be said that this is the most suitable for him. Now, he has been strengthened by Spider-Man's perfect serum, and his strength has been greatly improved. But in terms of means, he can only rely on strength and speed to crush others. If he encounters the same level or even stronger, he may be seriously injured in a face-to-face -face encounter. This is not a joke, but an ironclad fact. The skills are terrible combat awareness that have been honed for a long time are by no means a joke. Only those who have truly honed it can be considered a real strong man. And now, this training card has given Lu Chen such an opportunity. The strongest disciple in history, Kenichi, if Lu Chen remembers correctly, Kenichi was originally an ordinary person. Later, under the training of many martial arts masters, he became a powerful existence with supernatural skills. And if Lu Chen seizes this opportunity, with his current physical fitness and abnormal physical toughness, Lu Chen has reason to believe that his strength will truly be improved qualitatively. After all, as a generation of Spider-Man, Lu Chen's body is too unique. Whether it is Spider-Sense, the innate ability to sense everything with the help of air vibrations, or the ability to rely on a weak body to perform various incredible actions. These, to a certain extent, are all excellent seedlings for practicing martial arts. Compared with the legendary martial arts prodigy, he may be several points more terrifying. While Lu Chen was sorting out the harvest in the jar with interest, in the office of the Avengers headquarters, a blonde beauty was leaning back in the back chair, with her slender legs raised and resting on the conference table. At first glance, with the black tights on her body, her perfect curves were fully outlined. The devil's temptation, this is probably what it means. However, at this moment, the beautiful woman seemed to be in a bad mood, and the sadness on her face seemed to have turned into reality. She picked up a piece of bread on the conference table and took a bite, but her eyes were wet. The empty building finally left her alone. With a miserable smile, the Black Widow's thoughts could not help but fall into memories again. The Black Widow, also known as Natalie, has survived to this day because of her rare luck, while most of her family members and companions in the Avengers have returned to silence in a snap of the fingers. Destroy, tyrant, the cold words were uttered again, and I could not forget them even after hundreds of days. On the contrary, with the constant memories, this word was like a scar, which could not heal, but also had a heavy feeling and hatred that could not be dissolved. Step, step, step. Heavy footsteps sounded in the hall. Following the sound, a familiar silhouette slowly emerged from the darkness. Captain, you're back so soon. There was no response. Captain America just took a deep look at Natasha with moist eyes, then he sighed, haven't you come out of your memories yet? I walked out, but what could I take with me? I watched helplessly as my family members, whom I had worked so hard to have, left one by one. Before she finished speaking, Natasha seemed to realize her own misconduct and gently wiped the moisture from the corners of her eyes. Let's not talk about this. How did the investigation of the Ice Girl incident go this morning? As if she had returned to the beginning, Natasha slowly put down her desk with her slender legs and asked calmly. However, after a moment, she noticed something and her eyes narrowed slightly. If she was not mistaken, this, dear, American captain seemed to have taken the wrong things. A toy hammer of different colors and a blonde rag doll. And judging from his appearance, he looked very cautious. Quote dot 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 quote. Natasha was speechless and full of suspicion. Could this guy be a childish person? As if sensing Natasha's strange gaze, Captain America also coughed lightly. Cough, this, that. Before she could finish her words, Natasha interrupted her. No need to explain, I understand, ha 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 ha. Understand, understand what? 
Captain America was stunned when he saw Natasha's childlike smile. It, s been a long time since Natasha has smiled like this. It seems wrong. Now is not the time to care about this. Thinking of this, Captain America stepped up and came to Natasha. He said in a deep voice, Natasha, I have some unexpected discoveries this time. As he said that, Captain America handed over the reverse hammer and toy doll in his hand. But before he handed it to Natasha, Natasha shook her head violently and said with a smile. As long as you like it, I'm past the age of being interested in these things. Quote dot 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 quote. His face froze slightly, but Captain America did not explain and went straight to the point. This time, when I was investigating the Ice Girl, I found a strange shop. As Captain America was talking, a very mysterious and scary shop was slowly pulled out in front of Natasha's stunned face. After a long while, Natasha sorted out her thoughts and asked again. Are you sure you're not kidding? Absolutely not. Captain America handed over the reverse hammer again and added, This is a magical item I got from that store. Just hit it on the head and it will. Before he could finish his words, Captain America's eyes suddenly went dark, and the last remaining sight rested on a small hammer of a different color. What will happen? Natasha asked with interest, her lips slightly raised, a hint of playfulness. However, after a moment, Natasha's face changed slightly. Looking up, Captain America, who was just chatting with her excitedly, was silent. What made her feel even more uneasy was that Captain America seemed a little strange. Yes, strange, he seemed to be thinking about something, and his expression was a little weird. Click, click, Captain America suddenly began to twist his neck, and his eyes, which had just been closed, slowly opened. What made Natasha's eyes fixed was that she saw a coldness in Captain America's eyes that she had never seen before. And, more importantly, Captain America seemed like a different person at this moment. Natasha, Captain America looked curious, his eyes were very aggressive. For a moment, Natasha couldn't help but take a few steps back. Who are you? From her previous training, Natasha immediately noticed something was wrong. This extremely aggressive look definitely did not belong to Captain America. It was full of greed and possessiveness, and could even be said to be extremely evil. Even a battle-hardened warrior like Natasha felt naked under this look, as if she was not wearing any clothes. Humph, you woke me up from my deep sleep, but you don't know who I am. With a cold laugh, the burly man in a windbreaker slowly took a step forward. Tread, heavy footsteps suddenly sounded in the hall. With a sharp sound of wind, the man pounced on me like a hungry wolf. Bang, the powerful force from Captain America made Natasha retreat several steps. However, what made Natasha's face change greatly at this moment was that this man did not give in and rushed out again. Ahahaha, with unprecedented arrogance, the whip kick seemed to tear the air apart. Bang, there was no time to react, Natasha flew out like a kite with a broken string. Cough cough. Accompanied by a rapid cough, Natasha flew backwards in the air with a look of shock on her face. How could it be possible? Not only was it a different person, but even the strength and speed were incomparable. Moreover, what was even more terrifying was that it was still an extremely aggressive fighting style, which was completely different from Captain America. If Captain America was a shield, then this person was a spear, a spear with great penetration, tearing through defenses in an instant. Bang, bang, there were several heavy knocks in succession, and Natasha, who had just fallen to the ground, was pinned down by a man. Yes, pinned down, to be precise, she was locked up. It was a perfect lock, and even Natasha had to admit that this was a method inherited from Captain America. After all, he was a military man, and Captain America was really good at locking people up. However, what made Natasha's pupils shrink at this time was that she actually felt a hand being unruly. As someone who came from the Red Room and was a top agent, Natasha was no stranger to that aspect. However, what she didn't expect was that after joining the Avengers, it would be Captain America who stretched out his claws to her. No, not Captain America. This person was definitely not Captain America. Biting her teeth tightly, Natasha struggled hard. Stop it, get out of my way. I will kill you. Natasha's expression became even colder as she spoke in a cold voice. You are the first woman who can attract my attention. Captain America said with interest, touching Natasha's delicate chin. However, 
After a moment, as if he noticed something, his pupils shrank suddenly, and his right hand swung back in an instant. Bang, a crisp sound, like a bone breaking, when he looked at his arm again, it had slowly dropped. Taking a deep breath, Captain America slowly turned around and looked. After a moment, under his solemn gaze, a tall man with blonde hair was looking at him with a smile. This is not a gentlemanly behavior, lady. Tisk, laughed coldly, but Captain America did not refute. This made Natasha beside him look confused. Captain America seemed to accept his fate and slowly got up. But his face showed a rare unwillingness. I forgot about you, all might. With gnashing teeth, Captain America wisely accepted the counter hammer handed over by the blonde figure. I was just lucky. When you woke up, you should have thrown away the medium that summoned me. HMPH. With a cold snort, Captain America remained noncommittal. Having just woken up, his mind was still a blur, so he naturally forgot about All Might. However, since this guy showed up, the next thing would be meaningless. As a fellow existence that emerged from the shock, he deeply understood the power surging in this man's body. With a self-deprecating smile, Captain America turned around and glanced at Natasha who stood up, and said with a weird smile, Next time, I will play nice with you. After saying that, he licked the corner of his mouth, but without looking at Natasha's livid face, Captain America decisively hit her on the head with the opposite hammer. Bang! With a dull sound, Captain America's figure slowly fell to the ground. All! Might stretched out his big hand and supported Captain America's body. He said meaningfully, Under every god, there is a demon. If the god disappears, the demon will naturally appear. Then he picked up Captain America's body and put it on the sofa. In Natasha's stunned eyes, All Might's figure slowly disappeared into the darkness. After a long time, his eyelids trembled slightly, and Captain America slowly opened his eyes. He looked at the ceiling, rubbed his head which was a little aching, and his face suddenly froze. After a moment, as if he had thought of something, he quickly propped himself up and looked at the. You're awake, Natasha who had just finished making coffee, raised her lips slightly. Yeah, nodding, looking at Natasha who had no grudges on her face, Captain America couldn't help but lower his head, revealing a trace of guilt. Sorry, what's there to be sorry about? It wasn't you. Natasha smiled, took a sip of coffee, and continued, is that blonde muscular man also your gain in the store? Yes, he was summoned by the blonde doll. Looking at the doll on the table, Natasha couldn't help but recall the figure that seemed to be emitting light. Unexpectedly powerful, and very majestic. While sighing like this, Natasha's eyes moved to a hammer of a different color not far away, and she carefully reminded him, I don't recommend that you touch this magic hammer again in the future. Magic hammer. Captain America was slightly stunned, looking at the opposite hammer not far away, and he couldn't help but fall into silence. He didn't have much memory of that sudden consciousness. However, even if there was not much, he was deeply afraid. It was terrifying, very terrifying, as if the shackles in his heart were opened and the real devil was released. Maybe as All Might said, there was a devil suppressed deep in his heart. At this moment, a voice interrupted Captain America's memory. Find a chance and take me to have a look. Natasha came over slowly with a cup of coffee, a serious look on her face, and said, it seems that the problem with the store you mentioned is not ordinary. Yeah, Captain America nodded and showed a look of approval. If we leave that store alone, the consequences will be unimaginable. But now, do we have any solution? Natasha said jokingly with a smile. Quote comma comma quote. His face froze slightly, and Captain America was helpless. Not to mention that the store was unfathomable, the fragmented Avengers alliance alone was not enough to do anything. The long-lost helplessness made Captain America think of someone. If it was him, there should be a way. However, thinking of this, Captain America's mouth was bitter. His absence in the battle with Thanos made that man feel uneasy. More importantly, that man is tired. The man who, has the power of a mortal, comparable to that of a god, is finally tired, and even a little scared. He took off his iron armor and returned to the small manor, sharing weal and woe with his wife, loving each other, and nurturing their little cutie. Maybe this is the best destination for that man. Thinking of this, Captain America suppressed the thoughts in his heart. Next, Natasha and I are enough. At this time, in the devil's shop. 
Liu Chen changed into a white martial arts uniform. He bought this while shopping. In addition to the martial arts uniform, he also bought a lot of sundries. This card should give me something, right? With a hint of doubt, Liu Chen also looked at the one-time training card suspiciously. Although the system product is guaranteed, Liu Chen is a little nervous about it. However, the uneasiness is short-lived after all. After just a few breaths, Liu Chen calmed down and printed the card on his forehead. Boom, Liu Chen was shocked by the thunderous roar. When he opened his eyes again, all he saw was darkness. Gray mist filled the entire space, but Liu Chen felt no discomfort. On the contrary, he felt a sense of excitement in his body. What is this? Seeing the mist being pushed away like the seawater when his arm moved, Liu Chen was also slightly startled. However, after a moment, as if he had noticed something, Liu Chen's face changed slightly. Boom, a sudden attack came from behind. Reminded by the spider sense, Liu Chen subconsciously slid to the side. Good perception, the old voice was rarely full of praise. But Liu Chen did not relax at all. An unprecedented crisis had enveloped him. Boom, the sudden blow made Liu Chen's face pale, and his whole body shrank due to the pain in his lower abdomen. Snap, snap, snap. One after another, an old hand touched Liu Chen all over in one breath. Excellent bones, rare in the world. In the rare solemnity, Liu Chen heard a hint of ecstasy. However, before Liu Chen could speak, another voice came. I didn't expect that an old man like you would praise someone like this. There was a hint of frivolity in the suspicious voice, but it also had a touch of intimacy. Then, in front of Liu Chen's stunned eyes, a young man in elegant clothes slowly came out of the mist. Misakikoshiji Chuyu. Liu Chen was also shocked with a rare surprise. Misakikoshiji Chuyu one of Kenichi's six masters in the world of, the strongest disciple in history, is a philosophical judo martial artist who is good at various styles of judo, judo, wrestling and other skills. Thinking of this, Liu Chen seemed to realize something and looked around. Sure enough, in a moment, in the corner of Liu Chen's twitching eyes, the other five, familiar, figures slowly emerged in the mist. Known as the, invincible Superman, his reputation resounded throughout the martial arts world, and he claimed to have never lost in his life, Furinji Hayato. A martial arts master who is proficient in all Tianchao boxing techniques and a master of rope art, Ma Jengsing. A karate martial artist who is known as, a hundred degree fight, and likes to drink, Nigui Jiksu. A Thai boxing martial artist known as the, god of legs and knees, and the, god of death in the dark Thai boxing world, Apacha Papacha. Known as the, daughter of swords and weapons, she is good at using various weapons and ninjutsu bone method, and at the same time has a celestial figure, Kasaka Shigur. In the next period of time, please give me more advice. Humph, brat, don't let me down. The first disciple was really curious. One after another, six figures greeted Lu Chen. Well, his face froze slightly, and Lu Chen nodded while enduring the pain in his lower abdomen. After just a moment, he seemed to react, and his heart was suddenly shocked. This is not scientific. With his physical fitness, although the martial arts of these six people have reached the level of ghosts and gods, it would be a bit difficult to make him feel pain. However, after a moment, as if sensing Liu Chen's doubts, a cold electronic synthesized voice sounded in his ears. Host, this mysterious space will limit people's physical fitness to a certain extent. Listening to this voice, Lu Chen's mouth twitched fiercely. No wonder, a punch can hurt so much. System, from now on, I won't be spending my life in this gray world with the six of them, right? Yes, host. In a rare response, the system also added again. The flow of time here is different from that in the outside world, so please believe that in the blink of an eye, you will truly complete the transformation of a strong man. Transformation. Lu Chen raised his eyebrows slightly, and was also slightly startled. With his knowledge, he naturally understood what the system meant by a strong person. It was not strong in strength, but a kind of spiritual strength. Now, Lu Chen, who had merged with the perfect serum, was indeed much stronger than ordinary people. Even if he fell from a height of 100 meters, he would not necessarily be seriously injured. However, he was the same as Spider-Man Peter. At first, they were both ordinary people, not like Captain America who was a soldier. In terms of consciousness and combat, 
they were inferior to Captain America who was a soldier. But now, with this training card, he may be able to reach a level that suits him in terms of combat polishing. And then, he who can perfectly exert his physical strength can be considered a strong person. Even if he is just a strong person on Earth, he is enough to be called a terrifying existence, second only to the legendary Father God level. Call, he exhaled deeply, and an inexplicable gleam flashed in the depths of Lu Chen's eyes. Come on, with a murmur, Lu Chen looked at the six figures in the mist and his heart was burning with excitement. Good boy, I like your fiery gaze. A vicissitude's old man took a step forward while laughing. Then he clenched his fist slightly. Boom, like a cannonball, directly hitting Lu Chen's jaw. His pupils shrank slightly, and with the help of spider sense, Lu Chen, who sensed the flow of mist, took another step. At this moment, as if reminding him, the old man said, strong perception is a good thing. As he said that, the old man paused. However, a moment later, with a bang, a knee had already been firmly imprinted on Lu Chen's chest. Wow, in the rare moment of embarrassment, the old man's voice slowly came, compared to dodging, attacking is the best defense. Yes, teacher, wiping the corner of his mouth, Lu Chen nodded vigorously and gave a respectful title. Hearing this, the old man also laughed. Okay, okay, in the next few days, I will teach you the art of close combat. I don't know how long it has been, but the gray foggy space still doesn't change color. However, what is suffocating is that in this corner that seems to have not been stepped into for thousands of years, the fog is like rolling waves, constantly rolling. At this time, if someone carefully looks into the depths of the foggy space, they will definitely be surprised to find that there is a young man in a white martial arts uniform, with his eyes closed, and his figure is like a fallen leaf, moving with the wind. No, to be precise, it should be moving with the fog. The vibration of the mist is enough for me to sense everything. With a light laugh, the young man suddenly stretched out his right hand like an eagle's claw. There was a swish sound, but it brought up a wisp of clothing. Not bad. In deep admiration, the old man looked at the young man with satisfaction. This was the most talented young man he had ever seen. Not to mention the terrifying perception, the inhuman body alone was enough to call him a martial arts genius. Looking at the torn cuffs on his right hand, the old man shook his head helplessly. But after a moment, he seemed to have thought of something and actually said, let's do it together. This kid is improving a little bit. Okay, I've been wanting to educate you again. Indeed, this kid is simply a monster. His progress is more terrifying than the last time. It hasn't been long since he was able to fight us one by one. In the rare hustle and bustle, one figure after another was like a tiger, rushing over. Seeing this, Lu Chen was not surprised but happy, and a hint of fighting spirit flashed in the depths of his eyes. Then I won't be polite, teachers. Licking the corner of his mouth, Lu Chen slowly leaned down, like a hungry wolf, revealing a rare dangerous aura. Bang, his toes touched the ground, and Lu Chen was like an arrow shot from a bow. Bang, bang, bang. One after another, it was continuous. In the stunned eyes of Fengalin Temple Hayato and others, Lu Chen really turned into a fighting machine. Punches and kicks continued, and the whole body made various inhuman movements. The previous second, he had just blocked the right fist of Ma Jengsing, who was proficient in boxing. The next second, his right leg had turned into a whip shadow and lashed at the so-called, leg god Ni Saint. However, this is not the end. Facing the martial arts masters who attacked him one after another, Lu Chen's eyes narrowed, and he suddenly pulled his right leg, which had just fought with a pacha papacha, up to his shoulder. Quote, with a dull bang, the karate martial artist, Nigui Jiksu, had a red mark on his forehead and his whole body was frozen. Tisk tisk, sister, I want to see how fast you can act. With a bell-like laugh, Mr. Kasaka Shigur, holding a dagger, had already come to a place not far from Lu Chen. I don't know if it's fast or not, but I can guarantee that it's faster than the teacher's. With a rare laugh, Lu Chen's whole body flipped in the air. At the same time, his limbs were pulled out at a lightning speed. At this time, if someone could look at Lu Chen, they would be shocked to find that he seemed to have turned into an eight-legged spider and fell from the sky. And this is the biggest gain of Lu Chen's missed space. After integrating the serum and inheriting the power of the silver spider, 
he can control his body to the greatest extent. While using his hands and feet, he can change continuously with the terrifying flexibility of his body without any discomfort. If this is maintained for a long time, it will give people an illusion that he is not fighting with one Lu Chen, but with several Lu Chens at the same time. If you are not careful, you will lose everything. Just like now, snap, snap, snap. With a clear sound, figures flew out one after another. Only a white figure was left standing quietly in the same place, calming the rise and fall of his chest. Call. After taking a deep breath, Lu Chen in the store slowly opened his eyes. But surprisingly, a trace of vicissitudes of life appeared in the depths of his eyes. In a split second, the world changes. Looking at the clock in the shop, which showed only a few minutes had passed, Lu Chen sighed. In the gray space, who knows how long he had been there. But he didn't expect that only a few minutes had passed in the real world. It must be said that the power of the one-time training card amazed him. At this time, as if sensing Lu Chen's thoughts, the cold system prompt suddenly reminded, the one-time training card is a rare treasure, and it is also one of the treasures that can directly improve strength. Nodding, Lu Chen did not comment. Although at this moment, he was still a little dazed, but the training in the gray space was still deeply imprinted in his bones. Next, he only needed to digest those memories for ten days and a half, and Lu Chen would be able to become a powerful being. Thinking of this, Lu Chen clenched his fist slightly. In an instant, there was a loud bang, and the air had no time to escape, and was all wrapped up in the fist wind. It can be seen with the naked eye that there is a deep fist mark on the wall ten meters away from Lu Chen. Spider power, the power of spiders magnified in proportion, can easily lift heavy objects such as cars, reinforced concrete, and can reach 15 to 20 tons. And because of the perfect serum and occasional attribute points, Lu Chen's strength can reach more than 30 tons. With such strength, Lu Chen naturally could not use it freely in the past. It is a blessing to have a small explosion under a punch. But now it is different. Master is one of the six martial arts masters, Lu Chen already knows how to make the most of his body. And now, he is using the steel fist of Mr. Ma Jengxing, a martial arts master who is proficient in all the Tianqiao boxing techniques, to condense his strength into a point, thereby enveloping the air and turning it into an air cannon. It's just a pity that he obviously hasn't adapted to his body yet. At the moment of swinging his fist, his strength was still loose, so that more than 80% of the condensed strength dissipated. Otherwise, it would not be as simple as blasting a fist mark on the wall. Lu Chen smiled and didn't care. With a casual wave of his hand, the fist mark on the wall has been smoothed. It is worth mentioning here that not only is his defense in the store unsolvable, but he is also like the creator to a certain extent. He can freely control an inexplicable force to repair, control and even suppress it. And this kind of power, according to Lu Chen's understanding, is also to set off the mystery of him as the owner of the shop, and to let some fleas know the importance of it. At this moment, Lu Chen frowned slightly, as if he had noticed something. So fast, while mumbling, Lu Chen decisively went to the second floor, took a shower at the speed of light, and changed his clothes. A few minutes later, Lu Chen, dressed neatly, arrived at the reception desk in the store. Welcome. With a chuckle, Lu Chen's eyes were drawn to the two people who suddenly appeared at the door of the store. One was tall and handsome, shrouded in a black windbreaker. The other was a woman, a very charming woman. Her long brown hair fell to her shoulders, and her proud figure was bound in a black leather coat. As a beauty, she also had stunning and delicate facial features. But surprisingly, there was a kind of charm beyond her age between her eyebrows. The light eyebrows were clearly carefully trimmed, and the long eyelashes flickered. The most frightening thing was the pair of bright and somewhat dazzling eyes. Just a glance, there was an illusion of seeing through. Captain America, and Black Widow. With a grin, Lu Chen slowly stood up. At the same time, as if she had noticed Lu Chen's figure, Natasha also stepped forward. Seeing Lu Chen standing up, she smiled slightly and looked charming. Manager, I heard that you have a lot of good things here. The tingling sound made people's bones go soft. However, Lu Chen, who was well prepared, turned around and picked up a pottery jar. Just kidding, she was a famous beauty in the entire Marvel Universe, and Lu Chen didn't think he could resist her. It was only in the store that he could make people unable to see his face. 
otherwise, Natasha would definitely see a trace of embarrassment on Lu Chen's face. How could it not be embarrassing? The hot breath had already hit her cheek, and most of Natasha's body rushed over across the counter. And this is the famous Black Widow, who is best at using her own charm to gain favorable conditions for herself. $100,000. If the person next to you needs it, please pay $1 million. With a pretentious cold voice, Lu Chen pushed the pottery jar in front of Natasha. Cough. Captain America coughed lightly, feeling a little embarrassed. He nodded towards Lu Chen and said hello. Um, manager, I'm here again. Hum. Lu Chen smiled and didn't care. Most people who have been to this store will come again. What's more, a guy like Captain America who is curious. Chapter 31. Manager, can you guarantee that there will be something good in this jar? Licking the corner of her mouth, Natasha asked charmingly. This, I can't guarantee it. Lu Chen spread his hands and was very frank. According to the system's explanation, the things in the jar are all random, so how can he guarantee that good things will appear? However, one thing is worth affirming, that is, the things currently opened in the jar are not bad. At least to a certain extent, it can meet a considerable demand of the person who opens the jar. Thinking of this, Lu Chen added, if your desire is strong enough, maybe there is hope to get what you want. Really, an inexplicable flash of light flashed in the depths of her eyes, and Natasha's face was rarely solemn. The test was over. It was a pity that the president was a little mysterious, so she couldn't test anything. But there was something that was worth affirming. If this clay pot was really as magical as Captain America said, then it was really possible to bring her hope. Thinking of this, her plan that had been buried for a long time before slowly sprouted again. Find Thanos, find this fool who almost destroyed the world. Then, take back the Infinity Gauntlet, and use the power of the Infinity Gauntlet to resurrect everyone. This was originally a combat meeting that the Avengers had prepared for a long time. But what was despairing was that since Thanos snapped his fingers, he disappeared. Yes, disappeared. According to his daughter Nebula, Thanos was very likely to go to a the planet is called, Garden. But the problem is that the universe is so vast, without corresponding coordinates, who can know which planet it is. And it must be mentioned here that in the original timeline of the Marvel Universe, Thanos had returned to the planet, Garden, shortly after snapping his fingers. At the same time, a few days later, he decisively destroyed the stone with the power of the stone. And with this vast aftermath, the Avengers accurately locked his position. But that was the original timeline. In the current timeline, what Lu Chen didn't know was that because of his imminent arrival, an invisible force had already engulfed the planet Garden. And it was because of feeling this invisible but extremely obscure force that Thanos hesitated and temporarily shelved the destruction. The plan to destroy the original stone. Because, in this power, he felt the ominousness and vastness, and he even suspected that this power might affect the balance of the universe. So, he chose to wait. It was not until Lu Chen appeared that Thanos discovered helplessly that he seemed unable to stop anything. And more importantly, Lu Chen also gave him the so-called, hope. Of course, on the other hand, without the spread of the aftermath of, the original stone destroying the original stone, the Avengers' battle plan would naturally end before it even began. After all, they had no way to lock Thanos' coordinates, and because of various internal contradictions, they completely collapsed after a stalemate of dozens of days. Iron Man is tired and wants to go back to be with his family. Thor is heartbroken there are no relatives left several times, they were defeated miserably by Thanos. The Hulk left silently because of self-blame. As for Ms. Marvel, who Natasha relied on the most, she also walked away after searching in vain. She is not only the guardian of the Earth, but also the defender of peace on countless other planets. She has too many things to do, and it is good enough for her to stay in the Avengers for a while. In this way, in Natasha's helpless and desperate eyes, she could only watch the Avengers, who had regained their fighting spirit, slowly disintegrate. If she hadn't suddenly heard Thanos' sneer a few days ago, she would have forgotten about this fool who was still in hiding in her loss of soul. However, if Lu Chen knew the details of what happened, he would definitely slam the table and say in a deep voice, butterfly effect. Yes, the butterfly effect. A small butterfly flaps its wings in the sky and disturbs the air. After a long time, it may cause a storm in a distant place. 
And he, a person from another world, is that butterfly. But surprisingly, he has already influenced the trajectory of this world before he came to this world. If Lu Chen knew this, he would definitely be amazed at the power of the system. At this moment, Natasha seemed to have made a decision, and then decisively paid 100,000 US dollars. Manager, I hope you can give me hope. Natasha looked at Lu Chen with a complicated expression and raised the pottery jar and spoke dryly. But before Lu Chen could respond, Captain America seemed to realize something and his face suddenly changed, Natasha, what are you going to do? There was no response, and Natasha's eyes flashed with determination. If you can really respond to my wish, please guide me to find that fool. With a calm face, Natasha was praying in her heart, like a persistent believer, grasping the last hope. Then, she let go of her hands, and with a crisp sound, a bloody golden light bloomed. Yes, bloody. There was a hint of ominous. This woman. After taking a deep look at Natasha, Lu Chen's pupils shrank. When Bloody appeared, a message had already emerged in his mind. Ding, because of the strong obsession of the guest, the cursed pottery jar has been opened. With his eyes narrowed slightly, through the faint bloodlight, Lu Chen had already seen three magical items. A pair of dance boots, pure white like jade, with a hint of crystal texture. At first glance, the first thought in Lu Chen's mind was, who can have such a pair of beautiful dance boots? However, for a moment, Lu Chen's eyes froze. Pure white dancing shoes, it is said that they were the favorite item of a dancer who was the most beautiful among all the beauties. However, her beautiful appearance was ultimately a disaster for her. On a full moon night, the dancer stepped on the pure white dancing shoes and danced until they were stained with blood. This is a pair of magical shoes. Whoever wears them can automatically avoid danger. But as time goes by, the pure white shoes will turn red little by little. When the shoes turn completely red, the user's blood will be drained. What's even more suffocating is that even if the user turns into a skeleton, the shoes will take the user to dance until the end of the world. I have to say, it's a bit scary. It's really worthy of being an item opened by a cursed pottery jar. However, noticing Natasha's inquiring eyes, Lu Chen's face became serious and he said in a deep voice. This is a very interesting pair of dancing shoes. Wearing it can automatically avoid danger. Really, Natasha showed a rare curiosity on her face, but she was also a little disappointed. Obviously, this was not what she expected. However, with the idea that something is better than nothing, she picked up the pure white dancing shoes floating in the golden light with both hands. Then she took off the shoes skillfully, revealing a pair of very delicate jade feet. After a moment, step, step, Natasha put on her dancing shoes and kicked the ground. She felt that the shoes were a little too big. As if sensing Natasha's thoughts, the shoes glowed with light. After a moment, the shoes shrank and fit perfectly on Natasha's feet. Interesting, Natasha pursed her lips and smiled rarely. Then, she turned her eyes to Captain America and made an invitation gesture. Seeing this, Captain America, who had worked with Natasha for a long time, naturally understood what she meant. Especially after hearing the store manager say that this pair of dancing shoes can automatically avoid danger. Let me see how magical it is. Accompanied by this figure, with a swish sound, a whip kick has already made a sound of breaking through the air. However, in Lu Chen's eyes now, Captain America's kick was obviously restrained. But even so, the speed of this kick was enough to leave an afterimage in the eyes of ordinary people. How do you avoid it? As if exploring, Natasha's eyes were somewhat amusing. She even made up her mind not to move. However, the next second, her expression suddenly froze. From the soles of her feet, an inexplicable force was already surging. Shua, her body seemed to lose control, and Natasha's figure suddenly pulled out a circle like a ballet. No more. No less, Captain America's feet were firmly in the air. On the other side, Natasha couldn't help but shrink her pupils. She not only dodged Captain America's whip kick, but also dodged the strong wind caused by the whip kick. For a warrior like Captain America who has experienced many battles, the strong wind alone is like a knife. But now Natasha just felt the breeze blowing on her face. It's really, a bit scary. Natasha paused for a word. She didn't feel as excited as she had imagined. Instead, she felt horrified because she realized a fact. 
A pair of shoes could actually control her body. What a joke. In a daze, Natasha looked at the pure white dance shoes on her feet, and she couldn't help but feel cold under her feet. At this moment, a voice slowly sounded in the air. Although pure white dancing shoes can avoid danger, they will gradually turn red after long-term use. Dye red. Yes, dye it red, your blood will be absorbed by it bit by bit, and your life will be taken away by it. At this point, Lu Chen's voice turned cold, and he reminded him very rarely. These are a pair of cursed dancing shoes, please use them with caution. What surprised Lu Chen was that Natasha smiled when she heard the word, cursed. I was a little uneasy at first, but I feel relieved when I hear you say this. Quote comma comma quote. With a confused look on his face, Lu Chen asked calmly, why? There is no such thing as a free lunch. If this pair of dancing shoes really wants something from me, I can trust it instead. With a slight smile on her lips, Natasha expressed her opinion naturally. You are still the same. On the side, Captain America took a deep look at the pure white dance shoes on Natasha's feet, but did not show much. He knew Natasha, a woman who could control herself. In other words, a cursed item like the pure white dance shoes did not bring her cowardice, but a trump card-like means. If she really encountered a fatal crisis, whether to use the pure white dance shoes or lose her life, I believe everyone would make the right choice. Very good, this has far exceeded my expectations. Take off the pure white dance shoes and put them aside carefully. Immediately, she turned her body and looked at the place with a faint bloody golden light again. There, at this moment, a rotten compass slowly emerged. Yes, a compass. Compared with modern high-tech guidance methods, this rusty compass is undoubtedly a kind of compass that no one will look at even if it is thrown in the corner. But now, Natasha's eyes are fixed on it. As Captain America thought, Natasha is a smart woman. From Captain America's words, she has captured the weirdness of this store. And now, this pair of pure white dance shoes has proved her guess. In this way, looking at this rusty compass that appeared, it is difficult for Natasha not to think of anything. Maybe it can guide me to find Thanos. The irresistible idea sprouted in my heart. Natasha bit her lip and her eyes were already drawn to Lu Chen. Tisk tisk, you are really lucky. Noticing Natasha's gaze, Lu Chen also gave the due response. At the same time, he couldn't help but sigh in his heart, it is indeed worthy of being a cursed pottery jar. The things it opened are so mysterious. Looking up, hidden in the depths of the golden light is a dark yellow, circular compass. The surface is engraved with some strange patterns and symbols, and the pointer inside is covered with mottled rust. There is a faint, squeaking, sound, as if it has experienced the vicissitudes of time and is somewhat overwhelmed. One time, cursed compass, can guide people to any place they want to go and find the person they want to find, but as a price, it can awaken the deepest fear in the heart, and at the same time guide the host to keep pursuing until they fall into an eternal nightmare. Remarks, although this is a one-time use, you should be careful. When you decide to use it, you will also awaken the deepest fear in your heart. At that time, can you adapt to the sudden nightmare? However, despite this, there are still countless people who know of its existence and are pursuing its existence. After all, compared to real treasures, power, and even other things, the so-called nightmare is just the most ridiculous toy. It was a very detailed introduction, perhaps an unexpected gain brought by the cursed jar. However, what was suffocating was that behind the detailed introduction, Lu Chen felt a little chill on his back. If too many such strange items were opened, the entire Marvel Universe would be in chaos, right? Alas, Lu Chen shook his head imperceptibly, and put on a friendly smile. He pointed to the compass not far away and explained. This compass can guide you to wherever you want to go and who you want to find. Before she finished speaking, Natasha was shocked and her body moved closer to the compass. Is this true? Of course, no matter where or who you are, you can't escape its gaze. After hearing Lu Chen's repeated confirmation, Natasha was finally moved, and her gaze towards the compass became even more intense. However, before she could speak again, Captain America, who had been paying attention to the opening of the can, also spoke up. There must be a price, right? How do you know that? Turning his head, Lu Chen asked curiously. So far, I have found that the things you prescribe are weird and have certain side effects. At this point, 
Captain America also raised his hand and pressed his chest. Ever since the opposite hammer hit his head yesterday, he would sometimes hear a dreamlike murmur. Let me out, I will replace you sooner or later, fool. Listening to the curses, Captain America naturally understood who that guy was. His evil and darkness, gathered together to form a new consciousness. However, Captain America is not afraid of this. Now, the opposite hammer has been stored in the core area of the Avengers headquarters. In that place, it is difficult for his head to have close contact with the opposite hammer. In this way, Captain America will naturally not worry about the prison dragon out of the cage. At this time, listening to Captain America's explanation, Liu Chen's eyes also revealed a hint of admiration. Just a few things can determine these. This Captain America is more cautious than the rumors say. However, Liu Chen is helpless about this. A hungry wolf biscuit, a reverse hammer, and now a compass to guide nightmares has appeared. It was hard not to associate these strange things that twisted people's hearts. But what could he do? The contents of the jar were not something he could decide. Moreover, more importantly, Liu Chen liked what the system said, respond to the deepest desires of the human heart. Thinking of this, Liu Chen still adhered to the usual character of a businessman and said with some reservations. This compass has a side effect that is not considered a side effect. What? Staring at Liu Chen, Captain America asked cautiously. If the user decides to use it, he will face the nightmare of the past. In simple terms, he will have nightmares. As he said this, Liu Chen also had doubts in his heart. It's not that he didn't want to explain it in detail, but until now, he didn't quite understand what the side effects of the cursed compass were. In the explanation given by the system, the side effects of the compass were a little obscure. And, more importantly, he didn't want to give Captain America and Natasha a bad impression. After all, he is a businessman. If a shop is defined as evil by the Avengers, it will not be good for his future. Natasha was so excited that she could hardly contain herself. She had even seen some scenes. Find Thanos, then take the Infinity Gauntlet, and then bring back the deceased. Yes, that's it. Thinking of this, Natasha showed a very serious look for the first time, and then took out a handkerchief from somewhere and wrapped the compass. As for whether the store manager would lie to her, that was not what she was considering at the moment. After all, from Captain America and the pure white dancing shoes, it can be seen that this store is still somewhat unfathomable. Such a store will naturally not blow up its own signboard. And just after Natasha put away the compass, Lu Chen also raised his eyes slightly and pulled it to the last item. Compared with the first two weird items, the last one is quite normal. The rejuvenating pill, it comes from a great civilization in the legend. This pill can make people stay young and beautiful forever. To a certain extent, it can make people look younger. It is a very normal item, but it is a treasure that countless women are crazy about. And more importantly, this rejuvenating pill is about to fall into Natasha's hands. Natasha, although she has been an agent since she was a child, her body has been transformed, which greatly slows down the aging of her body. But that is only temporary after all. Now that so many years have passed, although Natasha still has her charm, you can vaguely see some old age between her eyebrows. Moreover, in the eyes of people like Lu Chen, they can even capture that Natasha's skin has become a little loose. After all, technological means cannot resist the vicissitudes of time, and a generation of beauties will eventually turn into dry bones. But now, it's different. Licking the corner of his mouth, Lu Chen showed a very signature smile, and at the same time clasped his fists and congratulated, congratulations, congratulations. You will definitely like this last thing. Ha, huh, Natasha showed a hint of interest in her rare surprise. Now, she has already obtained the compass. As for the other things, to be honest, she is not very interested. But Lu Chen's confidence made her a little curious. She wanted to know what she would like now. Thinking of this, Natasha's eyes were also focused on the last item. This is a pill, black, but it actually has a hazy luster from the inside out. What's more shocking is that the fragrance of fragrant grass has filled the air. And that kind of fragrance, just smelling it, makes people feel shocked, as if their body and mind are baptized. What is this? For some reason, Natasha couldn't help but ask. Rejuvenation pill. These three simple words, but Lu Chen's eyes were full of smiles. 
And for a moment, when he saw Natasha's red lips slightly opened in surprise, Lu Chen's mouth corners slightly curled up. But at this time, Lu Chen seemed to think that Natasha was not shocked enough, and continued to add, the rejuvenation pill comes from a great civilization. This pill can not only lock up a person's youth, but also turn a woman into a young girl. Having said that, Lu Chen shut his mouth tactfully. Because, Natasha in front of him had lost her former calmness and composure. Everyone loves beauty, and a woman like Natasha, who once used beauty as a means, attaches great importance to her appearance. However, with joining the Avengers, the work has become increasingly heavy, and not long ago, she encountered something like Thanos, so she has no time to care about it. However, not caring about her does not mean that she doesn't care. And now, Natasha's unbelievable expression and slightly trembling body are enough to explain everything. Seeing this, Lu Chen sighed and said, I have to say, your luck is really good. Such a youthful pill is hard to come by. I believe that someone would not mind exchanging a planet for it. Is it precious? On the side, Captain America, who had once slept in the ice for decades and was still young, was very surprised. For him, being young was not a good thing. After all, although he locked up his youth, the person he once loved was already gray-haired. Precious, Lu Chen twitched his lips fiercely, and couldn't help but complain. The youth pill is one of the few things that has no side effects and can keep you young forever. More importantly, it can remove hair and cleanse the marrow, thus giving you a second spring. It can be said that in the eyes of some people, she is a divine object. At this point, Lu Chen also looked at Captain America deeply and smiled jokingly, if you had it in the first place, everything you lost would come back. Quote comma comma quote. His face froze slightly, and Captain America's expression suddenly froze. If this is true, perhaps the woman who has been waiting for him for 70 years. But before he could fall into deeper memories, he was startled and subconsciously raised his head, staring at Lu Chen, and said in a deep voice, you know too much. He smiled, and Lu Chen didn't take it seriously. The famous Captain America, I believe it is not difficult for anyone to know your information. Quote comma comma quote. Captain America was speechless, a rare silence. At this time, no one noticed that Natasha had already grabbed the rejuvenating pill. To her, no, it should be said that to any woman, the rejuvenating pill was no less than a divine object. Now, the divine object was within reach. How could she not be tempted? Do you want to take it like this? Looking at the pill in her hand, Natasha looked at Lu Chen not far away and asked. Yes, but, before she finished speaking, Natasha had already opened her red lips and held the pill in front of Lu Chen's stunned gaze. At this moment, Natasha's belated words came out slowly. But what, Lu Chen said faintly, pulling the corner of his mouth. However, the youth pill has the effect of improving physical fitness, so when you take it, most of the impurities in your body will be excreted. As she spoke, a foul smell slowly emanated from a certain woman. More importantly, no, as Natasha screamed, layers of black, disgusting stuff like mud began to ooze out from all parts of her body. God, I need a bath, I need a bath. Natasha was panicking as she paced hurriedly. Especially at this moment, she was in front of two men. This attitude made her feel uncomfortable. There's a swimming pool upstairs. Lu Chen politely gave a rare reminder. However, just as Natasha was about to rush upstairs, Lu Chen seemed to remember something and added. There is a fee, $100,000. Lu Chen almost stumbled, and felt a pair of extremely resentful eyes. Cough. After a dry cough, Lu Chen decisively turned his gaze to Captain America and said with a smile. Do you want to open another jar? Not much, just a million dollars. Not for now. Shaking his head decisively, Captain America took a step back. What a joke. A million dollars, although it is not too much for him but most of his money is used for welfare. If he takes it out to buy jars, his series of capital chains will be broken. What's more, Captain America at this moment really has a problem with this shop owner. He is too mysterious, so that it makes people a little worried. However, when it comes to money, he can't help but think of that man. If it were him, he should be able to wave his hand. Unfortunately, this store is a bit daunting. Captain America couldn't make up his mind for a while, whether to invite the man to come. 
At this moment, on the second floor of the store, no one saw that a charming beauty had surfaced. Wow, brought up countless water splashes, revealing a face that could fascinate countless people. However, more important was her skin. Compared to before, it was incomparable. It was as white as ivory, and even more delicate, even an ordinary 18-year-old girl could not compare. Looking at her skin, Natasha smiled, like a newborn baby, showing the purest smile. And in this smile, there was a natural charm revealed, which made people's heartbeats slow down. After a while, Natasha walked out of the swimming pool and put on her clothes again. However, I don't know if it was intentional, she actually put on that pair of very beautiful pure white dance shoes. Step, step, step. The crisp sound of high heels came slowly from upstairs. Looking for the sound, a strange girl in a black tight slowly walked down. Yes, strange. At the first glance, Lu Chen and Captain America were stunned. Who is such a beautiful and young girl? However, after a moment, looking at the delicate facial features, a sense of familiarity came to mind. Natasha, Captain America said in amazement. With a slight smile, the woman seemed very satisfied with Captain America's performance at the moment. However, it must be said that this is a woman with a charming nature. Her big eyes were smiling, charming and charming. Because she had just taken a shower, the mist was shrouded, and the charm could not help but ripple. The corners of her little mouth were slightly raised, and her red lips were slightly open, which made people want to kiss her. So charming. A rare fire rose in his heart, and Lu Chen felt that Natasha's beautiful lotus feet and crystal shoes were also silently circling around, making a tempting invitation. Cough, cough. It was a rare moment of coughing in unison. Captain America and Lu Chen looked at each other and saw the embarrassment in each other's eyes. Although they did not show their pig-like appearance, they had to admit that for a moment, both of them were attracted by the radiant Natasha. But at this moment, Natasha seemed to remember something and suddenly smiled. Manager, this is my most satisfying shopping experience. As long as you are satisfied. Lu Chen smiled and picked up another jar, do you want another one? A million dollars, you can't afford to suffer a loss or be deceived. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at Lu Chen who was trying to sell something, Natasha's face froze slightly. She was not like Captain America, who could certainly pay a million dollars. But the problem was that she had business to attend to. Moreover, more importantly, although this store gave her a huge surprise, she was still a little afraid of this store due to her instinct as an agent. Thinking of this, Natasha also waved her hand gracefully and responded with a smile. No, manager, I have something else to do these days. As she spoke, Natasha turned her head, licked her red lips, and added in a very seductive tone. Back at the Avengers headquarters, Natasha and Captain America looked at each other and saw the fear in each other's eyes. It's terrible. Such an existence is an unstable factor for the whole world. Natasha sighed and said bluntly but we have no way, right? Spreading his hands, Captain America also showed a rare helpless look. Although it is just a small shop. But the problem is that the things in those jars are too terrible. Now, even though Captain America has met the store manager twice, he still can't figure out his details. More importantly, when accompanying Natasha, Captain America had already focused his mind on the store. However, unfortunately, he found nothing. What made? Captain America even more uneasy was that with his probing eyes, the whole store became a little obscure, as if there was a layer of fog blocking his vision. So mysterious, and so terrible. Such an existence is by no means an easy target for the current Avengers. Even until now, Captain America did not dare to arrange for others to monitor. Not to mention hindering that store manager from doing business. Now, what should I do? After making a cup of coffee, Captain America crossed his legs and sat on the sofa, asking. However, what he got in response was a deathly silence. Turning back, Captain America was shocked to find that this beautiful woman was staring at a rotten compass on the desk. Natasha, you. Before he could finish his words, Natasha interrupted him with a wave of her hand. Don't stop me. Natasha slowly turned her gaze to Captain America and warned him. Before we deal with Thanos, temporarily interfere with that guy. Why, Captain America was also stunned in his doubts. He may be more terrifying than Thanos. 
In a heavy voice, Natasha added. Women's intuition. Quote dot 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 quote. Captain America was speechless and looked confused. If there is something that science cannot explain, it must be a woman's intuition. And Natasha, this guy, is exactly the kind of woman with a relatively accurate intuition. However, after a moment, as if he thought of something, Captain America said in a deep voice. I suggest that we arrange some people to go and buy the goods. In this way, we can not only do him a favor, but also get the information about the magical items in the jar at the first time, and at the same time play a surveillance role. Hearing this, Natasha, with her hands on her chin, nodded slightly, and then, as if she had thought of something, she added. Preferably someone you can trust. That's no problem. Captain America nodded, and his face was full of agreement. After all, that store is no joke. Any jar can create a superhuman being. If you choose some people with bad intentions, I'm afraid it will ruin the big deal. Moreover, more importantly, they can't openly stop the store manager from doing business at present. You know, for such an unfathomable existence, the Avengers have always acted cautiously before finding out the details. And now, the Avengers are even more scattered. If you take the initiative to provoke such an existence, it is simply a way to die. In this way, Captain America is particularly cautious about his attitude towards the mysterious store. However, at this moment, a voice suddenly interrupted Captain America's thinking. Gather the crowd. Ha! Huh. Captain America was stunned for the first time, looking at Natasha who looked determined with an unbelievable look on her face. I have been thinking about this for a long time. This is the only chance I can't miss. Natasha picked up the rotten compass and said firmly, this time, we will definitely be able to take back the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos. Natasha, Captain America sighed slightly, looking at Natasha who was so determined, and knew that he couldn't stop her. He shook his head imperceptibly and walked forward slowly, in that case, let's make one last fight. Yeah, looking at the American captain coming towards her, Natasha also raised her right hand. With a faint smile, the American captain's rough palm had already met him. With a, pop, as always, the two most senior members of the Avengers chose to work together again. At this moment, in the devil's shop, Liu Chen was also sitting leisurely on a chair, staring at the panel deep in his mind. Life, Liu Chen, race, human, occupation, devil merchant, lost everything, just a small path, only souls are what the devil merchant hunts. Points, 3-3, three, three, 10 points for selling a can, 1 point for a successful introduction. Attributes, Strength 101, Agility 120, Spirit 142, 130 plus 12, Constitution 102. Talent, Silver Tongue, as a businessman, Silver Tongue is your nature. Ability, Shop Thatched House, with the Thatched House as the center, within a radius of 2 kilometers, the host's defense is invincible. It was still as simple as before, but Lu Chen's points were 33 points, excluding the 10 points he spent for opening a can. As for the four basic attributes, the mental attribute unexpectedly increased by 12 points because of the lucky mask. Liu Chen smiled and knew that in a short period of time, his four basic attributes, except for the mental attribute, would be more or less improved. After all, the one-time training card was not used in vain. With such a foundation, if he could master it in a short period of time, his strength, agility, and even physique would naturally increase. Just when Lu Chen was immersed in the attribute panel, he was suddenly awakened by the movement outside the store. Step, step, step. The neat and uniform footsteps brought about continuous vibrations. As if he had noticed something, Lu Chen's mouth corner suddenly rose slightly. Unexpectedly, he would encounter such a thing. Looking up at the door, black figures poured into the store like a tide. More importantly, the leader was a young kid. The underworld, no, to be precise, some black forces. Nowadays, the whole world has shown a trend of major reshuffle due to the rapid population decline. Not only the military and politics, but even the so-called, dark forces, or undercurrents. And now, what Lu Chen is looking at should be a new force. After all, these people look too young, and they look like high school students. But they are all dressed in suits and have cold faces, so at first glance, they do have some momentum. You, are the boss here. Before the person arrived, a slightly magnetic voice came. 
What? Leisurely asked, but Lu Chen didn't care. It's okay, mainly because I'm here to protect you. As he spoke, the blonde kid in the lead nonchalantly touched the golden ring hanging from his earlobe, sneered and added, Today, I came to you specially to say hello. Oh, in the simple response, Lu Chen looked at these seven or eight teenagers with some amusement. They were young, but they were very impressive. It was just a pity that they came to the wrong place. However, there was one thing worth pondering. Although the location Lu Chen chose was not very good, it was in Queens, New York, which was a relatively affluent area. To be able to play such a trick here, he must have some background. A rich second generation or. Thinking of this, Lu Chen slowly propped himself up, and then took out a golden revolver in the stunned eyes of these teenagers. Quote comma comma quote. Their faces were all stiff, and these young men were all in a daze. Hey, isn't your method a bit too extreme? The blonde boy in the lead had a distorted expression as he cried out. This is not right, shouldn't they just give some pocket money like the first two families did? Besides, they didn't ask for much, they just wanted to have fun. After all, with their status, they really didn't have to worry about money. With a, tisk, Lu Chen was a little helpless when he saw the panicked look of these teenagers. He originally thought they were veterans, but they were actually fledglings. However, even so, it did not mean that Lu Chen could tolerate their provocation. He grinned and pulled the trigger. Bang! Accompanied by the crisp sound of gunfire, all the young men turned pale. Some even cried out in disbelief. However, for a moment, the group of young men were stunned. Looking at the golden revolver in the distance that was emitting smoke but not firing any bullets, they were all confused. This, without waiting for their response, Lu Chen's voice echoed, Sorry, it's empty. As he said this, Lu Chen's eyes were focused on the second blood mark on the golden revolver. Every empty shot means that the power of the next shot will increase exponentially. However, this empty shot has conditions. It must be aimed at a living being, and the determination to seriously injure or even kill it must be made. And Lu Chen just aimed at the blonde boy's lower abdomen. If he was a little luckier, the bullet, which had doubled in power, would be enough to penetrate the blonde boy in an instant. But it was a pity. The corners of his mouth rose strangely for a few points, and Lu Chen slowly took out an ammunition box. This ammunition box was a rectangular block, about one centimeter high, and looked very delicate. It contained seven bullets. And now, Lu Chen began to slowly load the bullets under the horrified eyes of these teenagers. Lu Chen's movements were very slow. After all, he was not familiar with firearms. But even such a slow movement, in the eyes of these teenagers, made their faces pale. Gululu, swallowed his saliva, and even his buttocks were trembling. Fear and panic continued to spread. More importantly, Lu Chen's smile was a little cold and indifferent, as if in this guy's eyes, they were just like ants. Boss, I, I don't want to play anymore. With a hint of tears in his voice, a fat boy slowly retreated. However, after a moment, seeing Lu Chen still reloading his bullets and not trying to stop him, the other boys looked at each other and moved their feet silently. In a blink of an eye, a blonde boy who was still pretending to be calm was left in the store. Ha ha, seeing that there was no one behind him, the blonde boy smiled awkwardly. He knew he was unreliable. They used to be brothers and promised to conquer the world together, but at the critical moment, one of them ran away faster than the other. Although he thought so, the blonde boy also understood it. After all, the black-haired young man in front of him was too weird, especially when he was loading bullets, the slightly raised smile was even more chilling. Call, exhaling deeply, the blonde boy took a step back decisively. Then, as if he had thought of something, he raised his hand and said awkwardly, excuse me, please continue. As he spoke, he had already walked to the door. After a moment, there was a bang, and the blonde boy shuddered violently. He turned around and saw that the door of the shop had slammed shut without leaving a gap. What was even more terrifying was that when he slowly pulled his eyes back, the blonde boy was horrified to see a golden revolver pointed at his forehead. It felt extremely cold, as if it was not from the human world. The interweaving of golden blood made his pupils greatly dilate. No, no. He couldn't help but scream in his heart, and the whole body of the blonde boy began to tremble. Just when his nerves were stretched to the extreme, a kind voice suddenly sounded in his ears, 
Guest, would you like a jar? Jar. The blonde boy was stunned for a moment, but his face was bewildered. However, after a moment, feeling the cool touch of the golden revolver rubbing against his face, the boy suddenly realized something and nodded in panic. Yes, I want. That's right. Lu Chen smiled and naturally put away his revolver. He had no intention of killing anyone. Otherwise, with his means, one finger would be enough to kill him. Now that the deterrence has been achieved, he can open the door for business. Thinking of this, Lu Chen took two steps towards the counter, and then, in the stunned eyes of the blonde boy, he really picked up a black ceramic jar. Yes, a black ceramic jar. It looks very ordinary, but there is a hint of mystery in it. There are all kinds of magical items in this jar. If you get something good, you might be able to gain superhuman powers. Oh, the blonde boy responded tactfully with a slight twitch of his mouth. As for what this fool said, he didn't believe a word. And superhuman power, humph, even the famous Avengers don't have many people with that kind of power. Moreover, if this fool hadn't threatened him, no one would have looked at his jar. But the blonde boy also admitted defeat, as long as this fool didn't draw his gun again. At this moment, as if sensing the blonde boy's doubts, Lu Chen also laughed dumbly. Perhaps except for those who have really opened the jar, it is difficult for anyone to believe that the jar can open magical things. But, just so, he wanted to verify one thing. Therefore, he must make the boy firmly believe that there is something magical in the jar. Thinking of this, Lu Chen slowly raised his hand, and then clenched his fist slightly. With a loud bang, the floor of the store suddenly broke apart in front of the horrified blonde boy's eyes. Even more shocking was the appearance of a pit with a diameter of more than two meters and a depth of more than half a meter. How is this possible? There was a rare hint of shock in the shocked voice. The blonde boy's pupils shrank. However, at this moment, Lu Chen seemed to think that the excitement was not enough, and waved his hand again. Whoosh, is like a breeze blowing on your face, and the ground is repairing at a speed visible to the naked eye. This is the power I got from the jar. Lu Chen said in a bewitching tone, tempting, so, young man, do you want to have it? Gurgle, swallowed subconsciously, and the blonde boy's face was stunned. Want to, of course. Ask yourself, which boy doesn't have a superhero dream? However, in this unfamiliar situation, a terrible fool suddenly said this, and the blonde boy felt a chill on the soles of his feet. But his eyes were contradictory and focused on the jar in Lu Chen's hand. With a chuckle, Lu Chen put the jar in front of the blonde boy and reminded him very seriously, the more you firmly believe that there is something magical in the jar, the more likely it is to appear in the jar. At this point, Lu Chen rarely instructed, you can try to imagine the most helpless and terrible time in your heart. At that time, what do you need, and what will the jar give you? Really, the blonde boy asked excitedly in a trembling voice. Of course, you should understand that you are not worth being deceived by me. More importantly, I am a businessman. Hearing this, the blonde boy was slightly startled. Merchant, he raised his eyes and looked at the words, devil shop, on the counter. The boy seemed to understand something, and his eyes couldn't stop flickering. In his impression, demons are the existence of myths and legends. And in a certain myth, demons will give people power, as a price, your soul will also be sacrificed. It was a very second-year idea, but he was the first kid to understand the true meaning of devil's shop. Call, exhaling deeply, the blonde boy looked at the pottery jar with more and more fiery eyes. If it was really what he thought, maybe it was an opportunity for him. He had long been tired of this boring world, otherwise he would not have gathered a group of bad friends to engage in dark forces. What's more important is that not long ago, more than half of the people in the world were slowly disappearing doomsday scenes, which kept haunting him like a nightmare. At that time, he was sitting on the top floor of a skyscraper drinking coffee, and saw with his own eyes that one figure after another turned into dust and disappeared with the wind. Fortunately, his parents were safe. However, even so, the doomsday scene in the blonde's mind was lingering. For this reason, he, who was once a very well-behaved high school student, had to choose a different life to numb himself. He pierced his ears, tattooed his arms, and spent all day in bars, until he met a group of bad friends who had similar experiences as him. If possible, I am willing to exchange my soul for real power. 
If I could, I would sacrifice everything I have, just so that my life would not turn into dust and disappear with the wind like that day. At this point, the blonde boy slowly turned his eyes to Lu Chen and promised again, if I could, I would like to become a claw of the devil, just so that I would not be as pathetic as an ant. The boy made promises again and again, and his words were unexpectedly sincere. While he was making these words that seemed like promises, Lu Chen's eyes suddenly condensed, and he looked up. The pottery jar placed at the boy's feet actually had a crack. The crimson arm was slightly distorted, and there was a crimson aura spreading faintly. Lu Chen was not unfamiliar with this. The power from the legendary continent, Arad, was said to be the arm that was inhabited by the ghosts. Ghost hand, an arm that can make people see ghosts and gods. It is not only a symbol of ominous and misfortune, but also a carrier of power and destruction. Looking at this arm, Lu Chen's eyes condensed slightly. Obviously, he did not expect such a blonde boy to be able to open this thing. At this time, the blonde boy looked at this crimson arm, and he did not show any fear. On the contrary, there was a fiery surge in the depths of his eyes. In this world, beauty and ugliness are not everything. Like the famous superhero Hulk, even if he is not good-looking, he is still worshipped by countless people. And that is because of power, real power. And now, the blonde boy saw, saw the real power. Suspended in the void, the entire crimson arm exuded an inexplicable depression, and in this depression, the blonde boy felt something calling him. Yes, calling. The low voice was like a whisper in the ear, but when you listen carefully, you can feel the vastness and desolation. I can do it. As if to encourage himself, the blonde boy slowly took a step forward. Although his body was shaking uncontrollably, he still stubbornly raised his foot. With a bang, the blonde boy came to the front of the crimson arm. At this moment, under Lu Chen's interested gaze, the blonde boy slowly raised his right hand. After a moment, boom, with a roar, the blonde boy's entire body trembled violently. What, what is this? The blonde boy's pupils shrank to the point of a needle, and he watched a streak of crimson spread from his fingers. The blood was hideous, and the color gradually turned into a strange crimson. At the same time, the shape of the blonde boy's entire arm changed and twisted. At this moment, a slightly kind reminder slowly sounded in the blonde boy's ears, ghost hand, to be precise, is a disease. Although people with ghost hand have a certain degree of strength improvement, they will also be more impulsive and bloodthirsty. Hearing Lu Chen's voice, the blonde boy's face was as pale as paper, and beads of sweat were dripping down his forehead, but he still spoke dryly, thank you. Interesting. Laughing in his heart, Lu Chen did not expect this little guy to be so polite. However, this should be his nature. An interesting and occasionally crazy little guy. Thinking of this, Lu Chen took a few steps towards the jar. After a while, in the stunned eyes of the blonde boy, Lu Chen had already grabbed a thick book in the pottery jar. This is a dark red book with complicated patterns on it. Looking closely, there is actually a long sword hanging in the air on the cover. Ghost Swordsman Job Transfer Book This is a book that carries the experience of countless powerful people, and it is also a book of revelation that condenses countless legends. Note, after learning this book, you can use the power of ghosts and gods condensed in your left hand to suppress the enemy and transform into a powerful swordsman. Ghost Swordsman Job Transfer Book This should be matched with the ghost hand, just like the chakra crystal and ninjutsu that were opened before. Only when the two are combined can the benefits be maximized. What is this? Stupefied, the blonde boy looked at the thick book with a little curiosity. Although he didn't understand what it was, he had a feeling that this book should belong to him. No, to be more precise, this book should be born for him. Career book, with this book, your power will be truly guided. Guide, yes, guide, your power comes from ghosts and gods, and in the fight against ghosts and gods, your choice will determine your future path. At this point, Lu Chen looked at the blonde boy's crimson arm with a slightly flickering gaze. In order to get stronger power, at any cost, even if it means selling your soul, the extreme madness is called a warrior born for battle. Berserker, a sword spirit who refuses to yield to the power of ghosts and gods and spends his life studying the limits of weapon power. Devil. May cry, who controls the power of darkness and casts ghost skills. Asura, 
who sacrifices the light of the naked eye, completely immerses himself in darkness, and uses the perception of the whole body to the limit. These powerful professions, one after another, will be the choices of the blonde boy in the future. Thinking of this, Lu Chen was also curious, which path this interesting and somewhat crazy little guy would choose. But for a moment, feeling the boy's eager gaze, Lu Chen was also slightly startled. Then, following the blonde boy's gaze, looking at the job transfer book in his hand, Lu Chen grinned. This belongs to you. As he said this, Lu Chen suddenly increased the strength of his hand. Then, in the stunned eyes of the blonde boy, the thick book suddenly dissipated and turned into a golden light that enveloped him. In this golden light, the blonde boy's mind was suddenly shocked. Boom, was like thunder, and countless information suddenly rushed into his mind. The professional skills exclusive to the ghost swordsman, although only low-level skills, are so exquisite that even Lu Chen is jealous. Unfortunately, this job transfer book can only be used by the blonde boy with the ghost hand. However, Lu Chen doesn't care much about this. Because, compared to possessing the power of ghosts and gods, another more interesting thing has already caught his attention. Looking up at the boy, Lu Chen clearly saw that there was a trace of blood on the boy's forehead. Bloodstain, willingly sacrifice oneself to become a follower of the devil. It is precisely because of this mark that this blonde boy can open a rare profession. A profession is a warrior with a complete training system. According to the information given by the unknown, the professions in the jar have always been rare. After all, a profession also means that a road to heaven is paved under the feet of others. And this is inconsistent with the interests of the store and even the host. Of course, there are exceptions. Like the blonde boy who is willing to follow the devil and voluntarily dedicate his existence, he will naturally be favored by the so-called devil. In this way, the ghost swordsman, and even stronger professions in the future, are also logical. And as a price, this blonde boy will become a follower of the devil. Followers, like knights guarding princesses, are born to protect the devil. Lu Chen's will is his will. Wherever Lu Chen's eyes are, his sword is pointing. At this time, the blonde boy obviously noticed this, and he touched his forehead, looking at Lu Chen with a slightly flickering look. Master, there was a rare hint of trepidation in his tentative tone. No, you should call me the store manager. Then, Lu Chen pointed at the blonde boy and said with a smile, and you are my waiter. Waiter, with a suspicious sound, the blonde boy's eyes were subconsciously drawn to the store. Well, looking at the empty store, it seemed that there was indeed a lack of a waiter. However, thinking of this, the blonde boy looked at Lu Chen with a touch of gratitude. Although the store manager and waiter were just a title, they took care of his face to a certain extent. And more importantly, the store manager really gave him unimaginable power. And this power is enough to make the so-called superheroes change their faces. Thinking of this, the blonde boy slowly suppressed the excitement in his heart and then exhaled deeply. Call, as he exhaled, all the pressure in his heart disappeared. Then, he turned his eyes to Lu Chen again and said respectfully, Manager, my name is Zoel. Zor, Lu Chen nodded and accepted it. It was a very good name. Simple and straightforward, Lu Chen smiled and reached out his hand to grab the last magical item in the pottery jar. It was a piece of cloth as black as ink, deep to the extreme. At a glance, it gave people a feeling of falling. Shroud of the Holy Shroud, the legendary Shroud of Jesus. Take it with you, and perhaps you will be protected by Jesus. Ability. It can suppress power and reduce negative emotions to a certain extent. Note. A shroud of a corpse, perhaps you can use it to wrap your hands. It was a very obvious reminder. When Lu Chen first learned about the power of this cloth, he had already realized its function. Licking the corner of his mouth, Lu Chen placed the cloth on Zor's hand and reminded him, use it to wrap your arm. Zor was slightly startled when he heard it. Immediately, he looked at his bloody and hideous right arm, and reacted. He took the black cloth and wrapped it around his arm at the first time. At the moment of wrapping his arm, Zor's face suddenly changed, and a rare flash of joy flashed in the depths of his eyes. Cool, extremely cool. It was like soaking your arm in cool cold water in the summer, with an unimaginable sense of coolness. This coolness not only soothed the burning heat from his arm, but also cleared Zor's brain to a certain extent. 
The ghost hand is, after all, a terrible evil thing that can affect the mind. And this piece of black cloth easily suppressed the most terrible part of the ghost hand. It must be said that the appearance of this piece of holy cloth also made up for Zor's biggest weakness. After all, he is a boy in peacetime. In terms of will, compared with the humans living in the war era on the Arad continent, his will is definitely more than one level lower. Even so, there are few people in the Arad continent who can control the ghost hand. It can be seen that the ghost hand is terrible. However, it is different now. The appearance of the holy cloth temporarily made up for Zor's weakness in will. As for the future, it is not something Lu Chen considers. If it succeeds, Zor will certainly be a great help to Lu Chen. But if it fails, it will not be a loss to Lu Chen. But at this time, after taking a deep look at the blonde boy, Lu Chen couldn't help but praise him secretly. What an extraordinary little ghost. There is a touch of chic in the messy blonde hair. At the age of 16 or 17, although still young, he had a rare flying attitude. He was still wearing a black suit at this time. Although the sleeve of his right arm was torn, it was wrapped with a piece of black cloth. The whole person looked mysterious. The most noticeable thing was the bloodstain between his eyebrows. At first glance, there was a sharp edge that could not be underestimated. Blonde Zor, a swordsman worthy of Lu Chen's expectations. Peas, I heard that some book friends complained that I updated too slowly. Hee <laughs> hee, isn't it normal to update four times a day? However, Shaw must respond to the book friends' requests. 1,000 flowers will add one update, 5 rewards will add one update, and 100 comments will add one update. 500 evaluation votes will add one update. This should not be difficult. After all, the collection is now in the five digits, hee <laughs> hee. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.